Uganda biogere. They don't have the technology. This room is here. Eva Kenya. Rosira and Chico, are you with us? Rosira and Chico, are you with us? Can we first check on the on uh, the applicants, Chigo and Marshall Bay? Meanwhile, good morning, all of us. that uh, uh, one of the applicants is Rosira, are we ready? This is an application for bail, and the two applicants were jointly charged with the offense of murder, contrary sections 188 and 189 of the Penal Code Act. The petition alleges that the applicants poker choose persons and others, and others still at large on the second day of August 2020 at Sika Bay Village, at Pamba Parish, Sika Sabo County, in Gwengo District, 
with a much aforethought killed Lanka Joseph. The applicants are members of Parliament of Uganda respectively. They are yet to be committed for trial before the High Court of Uganda and hence this joint application by which they seek to be raised on bail pending their committal and trial in the High Court. The application is by notes of motion under Article 23.6a of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda, Section 14.1 of the Trial and Diamonds Act, Cap 23, and Rule 2 of the Criminal Procedure Application Rules 41.1. The application is dated 1st October 2021, and it is supported by two separate affidavits sworn by each of the applicants respectively on 1st of October 2021. The main grounds of this application are stated in the notes of motion and supporting affidavits and are that The applicants are responsible citizens and members of parliament to be elected. The applicants are abiding citizens. The applicants have fixed expressions of abode in Uganda. The applicants suffer from grave illness, incapable of adequate medical treatment and attention while the applicants, the applicants are in custody. The applicants were granted bail by this honorable court on 20th September 2021, reading them from Chico Prison. The applicants, the, the applicants have families to take care of and that they are the sole breadwinners. That the applicants have substantial sureties which, who are ready to stand sureties for them. That the applicants have not interfered with the witnesses of the state and they do not intend to do so that the applicants have not yet been committed to the High Court for trial and no hearing date has been set. In an affidavit in reply, sworn by a one or team AS, VASP or team Joyce Eunice, the investigations officer on 20th of October 2021, the state opposed the grant of bail to both applicants, mainly on the ground that, that the applicants are charged with offense, with other similar offenses by the Massacre CRB 605 2021, and that they might spawn bail. But the inquiries in this case are incomplete and there is a high likelihood that the applicants will interfere with the remaining investigations, that the applicants may interfere with the state witnesses if granted bail, and that if the applicants are released, they might hinder the arrest of other suspects who are still at large. The respondents' grounds in opposition of bail are supported by an affidavit the point to by Ms. Amundiri Jennifer, Assistant Director of Public Prosecution in the Office of Director of Public Prosecution. At the hearing of this application, the applicants were presented by Mr. Elias Rupago and Ms. Tamim Marende, while the state was represented by Mr. Birifum Richard, the resident chief state attorney. Senior Counsel Elias Rupago for the applicants in his submissions elaborated further the ground stated in the motion and supporting affidavits and presented six sureties for both applicants as follows. For the first applicant, the first surety is or was Honor Ibukasu Ante Moses, 46 years old, resident of Lunguja. Stand out of village, Lunguja, Lunguja Ward, 
Rwaga Division, Rwaga North in Kampala District. He's the former member of parliament of Rwaga North. And he was stated as a close friend of the, of the first African. He gave us his phone numbers as 704-54-0881. The second surety is Honorable Sewungu uh, Joseph Gonzaga, 52 years old, resident of Takajung Zone, LC1, Salam Paris, Mapping the Division in Kampara. And he's the member of parliament for Karung West constituency in Karung district. He's entered to be the, the friend of the, the first applicant, a colleague in parliament, and from the same political national unity platform party. His own number was stated to be 7029043. The third surety is Miss Namakura Kedi. 31 years old, resident of Sankanda Zone LC1, Kongo Rukuri Parish, Mapping the Division, Ampara District. She's a woman cancerer, Rukuri A in Mapping the West constituency. She's needed to be a friend of the first African from the same political party. Her phone number was reported to be 704 for the second applicant, the first surety is Honorable Nyeko Delikeji, 29 years old, resident at River Zone LC1, where we parish mapping the division, urban council, Kampara district. He's a member of parliament for mapping the east constituency, stated to be a friend and colleague in Nook and their MP colleagues. His phone number was resident. At Chimwani Village, he won the award for Winter Division and other city. He's a cancer representing the award at Winter Division, and his phone number was recorded to be 704-829-109. In his submission in reply, the resident chief stated to the two elaborated further the grounds for opposing the application as contained in both affidavits in reply. I will now go to the law as it relates to uh, bail. The right to apply for bail is provided for under Article 236A of the 99 Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. It's provided that the person who is arrested in respect of a criminal offense is entitled to apply to court be released on bail, and the court may grant that person bail on such conditions as court considers reasonable. The right to apply for bail is premised on the principle of presumption of innocence under Article 28.3a of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda, which provides that every person is presumed to be innocent until proven guilty or until he or she is guilty. The right to apply for bail is further premised on the right to personal liberty as per Article 23.1 of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda, which states that no person shall be deprived of personal liberty. Therefore, a person should not be incarcerated for unnecessarily a long period of time before trial. And a chosen person is still entitled to his or her personal liberty when the case is in reference Uganda versus Joseph Tumushale. We have it in the ruling. The purpose of bail is to ensure that the chosen person appears to answer charges against him or her without being detained in prison pending his or her trial. And this grant of bail is discretionary 
as the United can only be reasoned by if he or she proves the satisfaction of the court that special circumstances do exist to warrant his or her being reasoned by. The circumstances which are regarded as exceptional include grave sickness or illness, infancy or old, or, or old age, and that the state does not oppose the, the applicant being reasoned by. However, as per the decision in Attorney General versus Tumushale, which we have already referred to, it is no longer necessary for the applicant to prove exceptional circumstances before he is, before he or she can be granted pay. We can also refer to the case of violation of human rights initiative, which is clearly stated in this ruling. But in that case, court held that the provisions of section 15 were only regulatory and did not take away the discretion of court to grant bail in residing circumstances. It does not mean, however, that proof of exceptional circumstances in section 15 of the trial indictments act is not important. Exceptional circumstances are still relevant when the court is exercising its discretion to grant bail to a chosen person. I will now turn to the application and apply the above mentioned laws to the key grounds of this application. Number one, that the applicants are being charged with an offense that is tribal by this court or by the high court. Senior counsel, we ask the for the applicants' right to submit on this ground that the applicants are charged with the offense of murder which is available by the High Court by virtue of Article 23.6 of the Constitution and Section 14.1 of the Trial and Indictments Act. The Resident Chief State Attorney too conceded that the applicants are charged with the offense which is available by the High Court. So there is no doubt therefore that this ground is in favor of the applicants. Number two, that the applicants are responsible citizens and members of parliament to be elected. Counsel for the applicants submitted that the applicants are responsible citizens and members of parliament. He further submitted that the first applicant and second applicant to present Mark in the West and Kawepe West constituency respectively in parliament. The resident chief state attorney on the other hand submitted that the mere fact that the applicants are members of parliament does not press them over and above others and that therefore it should not be a prerequisite to the grant of the aid. On this ground, I'm in agreement with the resident chief state attorney that being a member of parliament is not a condition for grant of the aid. Number three, that the applicants are all abiding citizens. On this ground, counsel for the applicants submitted that the applicants are all abiding citizens and he referred the court paragraph two and three of the applicants respectively after the bits, which are to effect that when they receive a summon to appear at Masaka Police Station on 6 September 2021, they need appear as required and that they have complied with all conditions of being summoned. The resident chief said that on the other hand submitted reply that the applicants are not all abiding citizens because they have they have pending charges against them. Senior counsel when we joined on this ground submitted that facing charges does not take away his clients being law abiding citizens. That however grave the offense might be, they are chosen for the applicants to remain innocent. On this ground, it is tried to law that an accused person is 
in the self and cannot be proof that they are law abiding citizens, but it can help court in determining whether or not the applicants can abide by the by the bail conditions. Number four, that the applicants have fixed expressions of abort. In determining whether the accused persons were apicone for granted bail, reference must be made to subsection 4A of, the, of section 15 of the DIA, where the court must establish whether the accused has a fixed place of abode within the judicial of the court. On this ground, it was submitted for the applicants that the applicants have permanent places of abode that the first applicant is a resident of Chilombe zone market in the West, as per paragraph 15 of his affidavit in support, and that the second applicant is a resident of Namere zone county division, as paragraph 17 of his affidavit in support, respectively. Mr. Billy Bumboka, on the other hand, submitted that letters from LC1 of both applicants should have been brought to court to prove where they resided. In my view, the applicants have fixed places of abode in their respective constituencies where they are, where they are, where, where, which they are representing in the Ugandan parliament. There is no way how they would have been elected as members of parliament in their respective constituencies without themselves having permanent residences there. Number five, the applicants suffer from grieving this is capable of adequate medical treatment and attention while the applicants are in custody. Council for the applicants submitted that both applicants were sick and that therefore they should be released on bail to enable, to enable them access better health services. He referred to court paragraph 13 of, of the first applicant's affidavit. And for the second applicant, counsel referred to court to paragraph 13 and 15 of his, of his affidavit in support. According to the referred two paragraphs in the respective affidavit in support, the first applicant is stated to be suffering from blood pressure and the second applicant is stated to be suffering from renal deficiency, high, high blood pressure, and this complicated word, osteomastitis and anxiety disorder, and he prayed to go to raise them on the bay to enable them access to the health Mr. Six, seven, and seven of a Mumbile Tafeda Bitten reply in support to his commission. On this ground, I agree with the submission of the Chief State Attorney that the applicants are not suffering from grave illness as envisaged in Section 15.3 of the TIA. Even Senior Counsel Elias Rukokoago Raga conceded in his rejoinder when he submitted that Section 15.3 of the TIA was not among the laws which the applicants relied upon to bring this application for bail. And in my view, such illnesses cannot be, can be managed by our health, staff, by our health facilities, not if not by the prison facilities. Number six, that the applicants were granted bail by this honorable court on the 20th of September 2021, releasing them from Chico prison. Regarding this ground, Senior Counsel Yasiru Kwaku for the applicants submitted that the applicants were granted bail by this honorable court and that they paid 20 million cash as directed by the court. He referred the court to the ruling, uh, the ruling that is miscellaneous criminal application number 17 of 2021. He further submitted that this offense was connected to the earlier one where they had been granted bail. And Mr. Billy Bumbuka for the state on the other hand submitted that the mere fact that the applicants were granted bail cannot be a ground in this matter. 
he submitted that these matters are completely different. That the, uh, the first offenses were committed in Masaka, while the current offense, the offense was committed in Wengo district, and that there still must be no nexus. On this ground, that the applicants were admitted and made by my colleague, Lady Justice Nachinto, I agree with the resident chief state attorney that that cannot be a consideration in determining this application. In fact, in the case of Nyanzi Yusuf Siraj versus Uganda, preliminary miscellaneous application number 134 of 2021, when my senior colleague Justice Gardenia Paul was denying bail to the applicant, he had this to say. In this case, the facts in favor of the applicant are that he is already on bail for two capital offenses and was born in bail. However, there are facts that are indicative of the applicant being a flight risk. He's charged with a marquise of capital offenses at four top days penalty pay at the maximum sentence. The chances of the applicant attempting to free from justice are not minimal. The risks, the risks, uh, the risks are substantial are the benefits of the application remaining to face trial pending against them. But now they do have this charge of murder against them in addition to those that they were earlier charged with. Turning to the current application, much as they had been admitted to convey, they had not yet taken it and they were arrested and brought to court for this charge. So this charge stands alone. Number seven, the applicants have families to take care of and they are the sole breadwinners. Council for the applicants submitted that applicants have families and that they are sole breadwinners. This fact was not disputed by the state and it comes on a challenge. Number eight, that is, applicants have substantial surety's ready to stand surety for them. On this ground, it was submitted for the applicants that they have substantial surety's who are ready to be bonded by this honorable court. Council for the applicants presented six surety's to court, which included four members of parliament and two councillors, as mentioned in the preceding pages. He prayed that courts find them as substantial surety's for the applicants. Mr. Miri Vumbuka, on the other hand, submitted that it was imperative for the applicants to disclose, to, to disclose for the applicants to disclose the sureties they wanted to rely on for purposes of verifying them before the hearing of the application. He further submitted that one of the one the letter was not signed by the chairman or C1, that he was not a substantial surety. That Honorable Sewungu's letter did not state that he was a resident there. He submitted that even the second African surities did not state that they were permanent residents. The view of this court is that all the presented, all the presented uh, surities are substantial. Number nine, that the Africans have not interfered with the witnesses of the state and that they do not intend to do so. On this ground, the senior counsel of Pabu, for the applicants submitted that the applicants have not interfered with the witnesses of the state, and they do not intend to do so, and that there is no evidence that has been shown, that has been shown. He referred the court to the affidavit in reply of the, uh, of the deputy ASP or team Joyce Inus, Yunus, Paragraph three and four, and stated that it is just uh, stipulated uh, and not substantiated. Mr. Bill Vumbuka for the state, on the other hand, submitted that the matter is still under investigation, and that once the applicants are granted the investigation, it must be jeopardized. He referred the court to the affidavit in reply 
by the deputy SP or team joint units, paragraph 3 to 6, which are to the effect that the investigations are incomplete and that they touch other cases, that there is a right to of interference, and this court should not grant them bail. On this ground, the nature of the offenses that applicants are charged with, with their trial. Their position in society is also another factor that they might have an investigation and, and, and witnesses. They have the capacity to influence and interfere with the investigations and witnesses. In the case of Tiwa, Tiwa, Tigawa and Nabakari, Ikoba versus Uganda, which we had already referred to, why denying the applicants, applicant bail, Justice Kagawa had this to say. I am now in this application dealing with a bail, a bail application involving a young, educated, and prominent politician. He has a lot to fear and a lot to lose when and if he has to take the charge now preferred against him. He would do anything and go to any lengths to avoid or avoid the proceedings now hanging on his neck. This may involve or include absconding or exercising his influence on there would be prosecution witnesses. The emphasis is mine. I'm in agreement with my land brother that the applicants being members of parliament are so influential to affect investigations and all state witnesses. Regarding whether or not the applicants can abscond bail, there is a high likelihood because there are a multiplicity of charges, the charges are of grave nature, and it is only the instinct of a human being to flee when there is danger. And in the case of Tigawara Nabakari, Ikoba versus Uganda, which I have already referred to, court decided the crime to grant bail to applicants because it considered him a first risk due to the severity of the sentence and wealth of the offense. The applicant's position in the society would not help them either because um, the applicant's position in society cannot help them either because in the past, we have had members of parliament and even prominent people jump bail. In the instant case, the applicants are charged with offense of murder, which has the maximum penalty of death of, of the sentence, so the chances of absconding are so high. In the result, I find that this court is not satisfied that the applicants will not interfere and or with investigations and or witnesses of the state and that they will not have respond. It is for these reasons that I decline the bail, the bail to, the, to the applicants. But before I take leave of this matter, I'd like to make the following observations and or orders. One, using the naked eye, the applicants seemed sick, and one of them had a camera on his hands during the court proceedings. That is Honorable Segirinya. While the other one, Honorable Sewanyana, told the court that he was directly tortured and was not feeling well. I order the applicants to be accorded medical treatment as to address their ailments. If the treatment cannot be gotten from uh, places of detention, I order that they be taken to the government hospital facility where they can access such a treatment. On the issue of pending investigations, I order the police and or the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions should expedite the investigations and have the applicants committed to high court for trial. It is dated today, on the 5th of October, 2021.
Ndiyo <laughs> Well, it's a sad moment. This one, uh, we respect the judge, uh, but we are very disturbed by the ruling he has given. Very, very much disturbed. So it amounts to a reversal of the decision earlier on given. His and his sister, Justice Victoria Nachi, actually has overturned it. The other ruling was where all reason doubt. Clearly brought out all the issues he has relied upon. He denied the same people to pay. It's basically one ground we, we, we presented nine grounds as we have had. It's I think one, two grounds which we have lost. And he has essentially relied on only one ground to say that these are being members of parliament who are influential in society. They are likely to interfere with investigations. That they are also likely to abscond from justice. Very unfortunate decision with all due respect to the judge. Because those arguments are quite speculative. In all the decisions we cited before the judge, it's made very clear that you don't just make allegations that the applicants who are accused of persons are likely to abscond from justice. No. That they are likely to interfere. You must substantiate those allegations. You must bring concrete evidence. There is no evidence on record whatsoever brought by the state that Honorable Sejirinya and Honorable Sewanyana are likely to abscond to us granted pay. That they, will li they are likely to interfere with the witnesses. If anything, we brought all the evidence and indicated that these are law-abiding citizens. That these are law-abiding citizens. These are Honorable members of Parliament. They can't run away from their constituents. These are members of parliament who cannot easily run away from their constituencies, who cannot have support from the jurisdiction of court, who can't abdicate their duties as members of parliament. I'm surprised that didn't produce the charge. On the question of ill health, of chronic illnesses, we were also taken aback. We are really disturbed because. Uh, himself noted that actually from a naked eye he saw say was Sejirinya's foot rotting away. And uh, obviously he was not getting enough treatment. That he also saw him with a cannula. Yes. But couldn't even uh, bother to find out why he has not gotten treatment as of now. So it is ironical that he said the same sickness can be treated in New Zealand. Supposing it is cancer. Supposing the honorable procedure is suffering from cancer. Is it possible to treat it from New Zealand? Is it even possible to detect it? To diagnose and establish that indeed it is cancer or gangrene? It could be gangrene. It could be cancer. It could be anything. that could not persuade the judge to say no 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 let me exercise my discretion in favor of these people so we are really shocked it's a shock to us and uh, our clients are grieved by this decision so obviously we have no choice but we take it to another level we are going to proceed with the appellate court 
uh, first and foremost to protect the rights of our clients, the rights which are duly guaranteed under the Constitution, but also to set aside that very, very absurd precedent because it constitutes an affront to the rights of accused persons. It constitutes an affront to the pre-trial rights of accused persons. It's a very, very bad precedent. Very, very bad one. It cannot go unchallenged. So definitely we are going to process the necessary paperwork and proceed to the Court of Appeal to have it set aside and have our clients admitted to bail and also to have it set aside from our justice uh, system and also from our case law and from our jurisprudence. Rather. We must get it off our jurisprudence because it's a very, very absurd and bad decision. Judge to Moet Tiwa, to Sammy Yachte, Naye, to Salaye, to Yami Zangio. In fact, you need to visit. Banga, Iringa, now, Aringa Katia Sazam, Judge, ruling here, Yamuram Zimune. Imagine in Gavan Obama that done over one million are very much caught. Katechitegeza judgment here Victoria, the Furumia, Ramamin, Echitegeza ruling, Ovox Salaqua Justice Victoria Nachin, Katamba Poyaisa, Chiva Chitegeza and Yonaksazizam, Nayatanga Taina Buyinza, Wanga, Tava Wapu, the Barikule Poyam, Atenga, Twachi, Tabunji, Nayachi, when you record the court. Our applicants, our wire dissenters are a million are really never two kids over for police. At each take a such to Angola Chiramus. She was Jacob's in this hour to wear a day. Not a Mujako sent in Musitwara. A chokubi. Then song as our dinga is Matiza. Song Ganga Billy sat with Zasinzo of Simba Kunyesira, Yesunga Yoko Gamanti Abantu Bano Sejirin Yane Sewanyana, Bantu Babu Punanis, when you society were a man, you knew, you knew, you knew, where a member of a parliament, no win song gay. Basso opposes a man you got with Navy Fabio, or government, or gain a mass or no known Yereza, whom Sango Jim. Iran H. Okuvinti, or whom Miss Sango Jim, Nene knew. Madabichi by Inzoko Duka, Nebata Komao, Mokot, Chipanyamizan, Banga, and Miss Angujo Naja to bat demo the decisions of court Zira Gaburunj, and Tibuango State with Vanga Gamba, Javantuano, Basso Boroku Duka, Uganda, Nebata Komao Mokot, Javantuan, Basso Boroku Mesa investigations of Winter Pialinga, Novu Juris. Inu kuri to wujuri zo umara ukuka kasejo, so sipo gera bogezi na uteka mchira iro ngaba na uba kwa. Arefu inga tu chira zeburungi, jaban tu ban, ne uba ba ita kupolis polis samoni zvajia, ne vajia, kwa chini nyonyoro mura muzi, baba wa samoni ne vajia masaka. Kaka ti polis ne baba wa nyoni bond, polis ekola investigation ni nyoni, buvanga yaba wa bondi ne kaka santi vajia kuda, ira ne bakoma o. Police yenye ni bwa ya bwa bondi na kaka sante ya tewe jia kuinda fearinga na bujuri zibo abu tewe jana kule mese iran na bata chikora kaka ni atumu na muzi ava wakati ugamanti ya abano baso vola ato kule mese police kule mimi moja yao ejo kuna njereza njoo baba baso vola ukundu so chitu ni yami zanyo chida la ere chitu wengine siza kwe kula bandi ejo bwa data chitu tenge yesonge yangu wenye chitu ni yami zanyo. Nga era yenyini akirizanti nebo yalaba kuchikere cha ona lebo seji yenye amula wanga abunda kwa o Tafude yoku manyanti abantu wano dara chechi waluma Abantu wano wako ati kwa bubi ni batu rugu nye zivwa Achimanyi batu rugu nye zivwa Bujuri zivwa nabu likurekoto Elate wali wa bujuri zivwa nabu wako luzira Ntuva haba prisons wale so bujuri zivwa ganti te batu rugu nye zivwa 
Tuto baba leso kujuli zobula ganti siba luwade. Kwa wali uo kujuli zibu wana kufamu government. Kula ganti siba luwade. Na hii njini ya ganti haa obo luwade weba luwade. Buso bolo kujia njabi uweru zira. Obe chiko. Na yenga tate gedenti na uluwade chiu daro waburu masijiri nya. Echikiro kufundo kutu ukawo. Mwabanga kansa. Mwabanga gangrene. Omla mzoba kote baka la kufuka. Olu watu umami na umami. Kakati, evitwe evitwe nyame zanyo. Eda, evitwe isiza siguru unji. Mewa kila nsiba pwe. Benya mikutu nsongeyo. Eda, siba matifu. Tusazeo, tugeenda kujulira. Tusazeo, nti, katechidako. Kugeenda kujulira. Eda, kola nteka teka zona. Ezo kumalirize mpapula. Ezigenda mkoti Ezinga oki Vanga Eni nsala Eni nyirida edemberi ya baka kila nsiba Eni nsala Mfake menya nesema teka Eni nsala Jako ze Ejaone chila kilo cha Amini ejaone Eni nsala eyomu la muzi Eya soka Victoria Nachimbu kata ambanga atono kuhinza tabulina so nature alati abantu wafiti wajia kufundira makomira wafireyo tukenda kwe kubire nduru mkoti ya singao ejiri luamu mbademu insunga zino wazita ganju le wazete gereze tusobole okulaba antitufu na obwenkanya so tutandika kumpa kuroo na kuruwa lero ezo kujulira tutituwa leyo mkoto kwa pivu tusabolu na kuruwa kuligu wa mangu insunga tuzirambi kebulu nchi mwivali njimu Atopu siri kare wajabu wa nguo tala. Upoli sisi wanuwa wanu, wamsaji bibi bundu kwenye. Upo tapali wa nguo tala, mwenye mwanza nengo bundu, wamala doko levi, wega na chuo. Tifatu na completing asa mwanzo na. Nole chuo, sani sani yonyo tibalo ya wafu, ba genda kena. Ne, tu genda kote chikere cha cha sisi wanyani nanga ba chite cha cha sisi kinyanga ba chite miko tukwa somo la muzo. Amanyo bula debo ya darunia. Waba, chipulu ba genda chite maku. Bine bine bioku dano kujoga jogi kuanga, hichini chwa ita bayo, nebo ba groundi, mo isiburu kuweza mtu bayo, ni mtu la yomu la muzi, ne kamera ya ba ganyo zimu mtu nuzamruaji, kwa mla biyenga ba ita ba kanga kanga, bopo maingi bogo ndo kusoma sibi ambak, sibi ya sibi sibi tuufu, kwa sibi ya sibi vude kujores, oino rifungo imabega oru kutuuri demu mbali, ne, washi washi washo gana kamera kutu nuri dango somo, aino rifungo rumu nyola muri ba tuufu demu. Osiba haba na ba Uganda na iba jamu kwa hati dali. Nolichi onsanyu se katukeende mkoto vapiu. Tualienzo. Tetukeenda kufa mkoti. Na yensa haba Uganda lo society. Haba loo ya habari yomu enaba memba. Musituke mjimu onso ongeo. Mujibere mumu enaba. Muleke jile kila luku wago. Na shamimu. Mujimu enaba loo ya mjimu onso ongeo. Because tinochikenda kuwa turning point ya guangali no. Mubike ndo kubela umu kutina inga bebe. Museve ni kachariwa na likulufunga avuge ndogo ya ziku. Okuja konga government, si kwa ba siri ba inzokole chitunge choko mo mtu bail. Chora lebo mama disegiri nia, esa wasino, ovuru mibo alimu, echikere chia laga, ba nangi ba tuwale mo amagezi. Tetu sawa la gamanti, edagalabadi ina, na tu la be chikere chia agenda we chicho. Ba naka wempe north, na ba antu abalala, embera jebala la bo mubaka jiali muti jiali nunchi. A sawasino, only Mubaka Parliament, elected a member of Parliament of Kawempe North Constituency, only were marching the West Constituency. On a label and Sewanyana, on a label Mama de Segrina, best to La Nevada Cote Massacre. Ngatebaba seen this. Bobatu Cote Massacre, never reporting, never was never gamu, come on, never da. Chikula Gachin, a sawasina Babaka Parliament, your Najemuli, Walu Baba Taker, Okuba Wula. Okula ganti muli ba wansi nyo. Chino chitu kubo mula ngeriba members of parliament. Okusitu kiramu. Kusongenu. Kufuloya parliament. Right honorable speaker olanya. Deputy speaker. Au stresobo la genda masu. Nga babaka wa parliament batu walibu wangabu ebatu. Katia babaka okusa weno badi na inga bail. Nga ate. Mukomera jebali te walibu janja biya goge mazima. Onarebo se girinya wa mtu wala makisho nibe. Onarebo ala nisewanya na alichigo. Umbaka parliament tachikiri ya baamulonda. Chia unisa. 
okubaji oteka kebi sangu wa babaka wa weka mpala ni wabale etambu webata abantu masaka chitu na kuwazanga feba na Uganda obulumi wetuli munga tuwasa sura milioni ya habiri buli mubaka echecha beiru sente zuzala gawa sente ezo enyingi wezi tio okula ganti haba kule mbeze baba antu baisi wange visoro chewu nyisanti haba waka parliament vestu dene vajano ba imiriromu waka na ye government ne isa order ne gamba baba te njaga lo kumia ba naka wempe north na haba antu wa machi ndia west mm. uberewa kumu yunabio natu haba isubi na antu iso bolo kubera u era mu chino abali ku segiri nya fans page njaga lo baga ambe chika ambo chimu ba na yugana nti mukasera bonga boba manya babata chino tutuja chogi randi tuchitia Mumbere eno, onalebo segiri nya yeta agobu yambi, ilanja kusababa wakawa parliament, nsonge nebele agent, koda pepa, omusajja chigere chavu nda, omusajja akaba maziga aga tulutulu, tewari mbele jetu inza kola, okuja kukumu ya ambakati, ilanja kuweba zomu kulembeze wafe, wa national unity platform, his excellence Robert Chagulanyo Center and Bobby Wine, ya situka, nagena na achari laba baka wano, ilanga timu ya wana mateka jitadeo, neba zaba na mateka, Kuna lebo shamimu marende, umbaka wa Kampala district, uh, ilia sirukuwa gome ya wafe. Na balala, abafu deo kulaba angabalu wa nilira haba waka wafe. Neva zaba kule mbeze, abafu de Kampala mubitundu ya bienja uro. Mwebali nyo mwebali redala. Netu wa gamba, mwereba gumu, temugu wa mumanyu. Mr. Pudet, beya kola, yesonga luachi tuliwano. Kuna lebo sewanyana, beya kola, yesonga luachi tuliwano. Ila tuja kui milira kusongezo, yesaba anto. Okay. Simba, bawa loko so, aga loko manya, mm. tumuzi za kochi na mba. Echiso kira dala, echibuzo chombo ziza tu za kochi. Mm. Fetu goberele nkore ya mateka. Ela tuwa aja mu mateka. Nga bobe basa la ugenda mateka. Mm. Neka ti bobe wala gante kuboli ya mateka. Bali nafuya. Ngo kumubaka wa parliament. Fetu damu bantu. Tuwanyo nyoletu muna nge. Tuwa teka ye chintu. Wababaka mwe malo nda government ganyo kola chi okubata so mu mbere kangamenti tugenda mu koti yaba tujja kudda ku ground tujja kudda ku ground kwa abantu akawempe north beta go kuchikirirwa mu chikole gwango lukuru balo nda bakulembese babo ngicho kibaba subira mu era fe yesonga je tugenda kutambulira luri twasembo kulaba ku mama wo mubaka onarebo segirinya ngali mm. maziga mwaze mune mmori zako amama onarebo segirinya twa vili de ngembera sinunji yali badda abera wano Gabo manyo mzadi. Kuresha mm. zamu kubana bulichimu wa HTO. Negenda wetu. Nenga wago jeku mama honorable segirinya. Haba ntubanji waba dayamba mkawempe North Constituency. Walu waba naba DVC wani. Yafuka father wa Uganda yu nao kutuwa aliza wamu. Se mberenu. Nti honorable segirinya. Haba ntubaba dayamba wana balimu mbele tali nunji. Iranga tulo woza anti government. Wanga yoye yari ambi haba ntubaba wana wana segirinya ya bayamba. Katinga tesobo la kumuju kira chira ganti chevali ko techina je chitutuwala uh, uliriza wakala kumanyo mbele inyuri detia umusangu bakiriza uva uh, amanya anze bagonza thomas kansala atuwalo umuluka kwe wandikia gombo lali kawempe unako uwale rufi ngaba na kawempe uh, neba na machi nje westi ngaba na uganda bagala dembe liogu ntokuwe wechitiwa tukwe demu nyamani uluwe nsala ya koti Bail application ni kwa tika yu Na kusaba haba waka wali mbele mbia batu mbunyeziwa Segirinya Muhammad Ne ala nasawa nyana Bate uwe kakaluka koti wa soko la vikanti Misango jige nda masu uwe wafunovu janjani Wangu wala mbwa vichukuru No kusingi ya visango vina ipati Na yecha naku nchua mbwa mzita kiliza Ila ganyi No lufanyo walo kukilizo kugamanti Bagonza ya imiria Segirinya Nyeko ya imiria Segirinya Nika yemba sulu ya imiria Segirinya Vali substantial Na kiliza nti hona rebo seungu Hona rebo kasiva nti Na kiliza nti Bonabo naba shuri tebetuari Vali substantial Na ate mtu yu mwa fudeo na gamanti Takiriza mbeira. Atenga nombo la mzea musu kao. Ya kiriza wakata vei mjidwe. Eda na atula gila tusasule miyo ni habili. Netuzi wayo mkote. Katituma nchiba. Gaza waka wa parlamenti. Bano. Kumisange mipati ike. Atenga nembeira ya avo. Yela likiriza. Kona nebala nisawa nyana. Ya makawa aganyi gana katituma nyi. Uvana damo kula vikanti. Hakuna mkso uguza kuvana. Kona nebo segirinya. Echigere mbunu na kurucha bulisawa buli kadachi kaka genda. Chifu nda. So. Nembeira etele duwa ukote eno nga fe etumaze mu nyesu binadala mu kisera kino nga mwami mu 7 yagalo kujjawo 
beiro. So, boba ringa abaga manti bata ni so kuzi mira kuntolize. Ira bata ni so kula ikanti vani gidi zava na yuganda ngawa malaket dem. Atenga semate kacho gera bulunji. Timo na yuganda tajia a kumi wa beiro. Kwa dembe ni yovu evangi. Okutu sangu msangu gumu sizi. Ovanga kidi zanti ya busa. So, ketula bachi bata ni se. Nye ni mbeda yoku nyi gidi zano kuli nyi dembe yava na yuganda. Jetulikera jetuluanyi sa mbwanga yuganda. Wenjo gerera. Mama umba kasegiri nya Muhammad. Mbele ni mkubi walanyo. Yela mauli gena kafuna katiali mkoma. So mchalo mkadevu watu. Kumera kumera zoku wa presha. Kumera malu alilobu lichisedo. Luwa mutamani wataza musangu. So fitula antisikia abu inkanya. Yela tusababa la muzimu ngeru chitunulamu. Na ye chitusa zeo ngafe. Neba kanso baba wa wabiloma na wabaka abasibi. Abasibi dwe saa wendo. Tusa zeo tujulide. Tugenda kujulida. Kulawa wana wala muzaba wala la. Tebawe muka wa mtu. Kulai kanti watu nulida kusaba kwa fikulo. No kuteka mungkola. Kati abalonzi bebo za cheche didako? Abalonzi na dela baka wimpe noth. Njaga luba gumi. Nena njaga na nukuwa sabanti. Teba guwa musu. Nena na uba veyo kuhu. Amalobo ziga wa ituka uji. Wanga kwa mtu ya londa segiri nya kutesa ze mpala mingi. Nema mtu kwa atika kebi sango na osirika. Tichiba chavo nkanyi. Njaga luba za mwe subi. No kuba za mwa mani. Nti Tiba ina misangi, chuchu nja gala nchi kati, tiba ina chi, misangu, na katisa wazina wawa tebeleza kutebeleza. Yerache chumuna haba machi ndiwe sita wawa nari wala nisa wanyani. Tua inza kuya nchi mbaka wawa mwenye gama kaa, atolo kwa mtu wawa uli jia mulo nda. Tua inza wawa nisa gini ya wawa mwa uche chigiri katita nisa kufumo. Wadaka iso katete na sitaka funa nga kechigo, nene luzira mmakio nbeje wawa mtu kute. So, ewe yembele liwo, yerache uvola nchi wawa gonza tuga amanti. Obaba kakasanti ya marwari lugumu makomera marunji. Na wala muziba nube nyingi. Tuwa gala wagende wa varifali nge wa wawele evi tanda wa vajanja vile yo. Tuwa gala haba kulida asechulite wa gende wa vajanja vile yo. Ne wa wanga buba sinzile nuku mikutu ni waganti ya marwari lugari mumbela nungi. So chenya miza. Na yefe minu wena wena tuwa visubi na muru. Chalu jaku msefe ni. Chajaku kera pati kechi sango kubagonza pati kechi sango kusegirinya. Nye mula gaza vi pati kaku babobi waini. So, fitichige nda tuza mawega, ilati tuge nda kupowa, fituwa gala Uganda, eye ya gaza vudio. Itali mtu wa mula mazima mula mku vila simu ni mga ntobata. Anga asala ukusunzila kuteka chedikolachi. Kwa mtu wa mtu wa kili zante, awazo kwe imirida batu kili zevi kwa kulizu. Ababaka balondi chitufu, ababaka baina jivasula mkonsensi zaabu. Ababaka chitufu, vigele vivu ndambilavi. Ilati nese wanya na ili agala kwe ya mbula mula gembe ila jalimu. Chundu ya vye chama. Na mga ako mau chogira kujitegi. Nekwa musajwa musajwa muno na ganti ya makawa aganiga. Ilano tama muka wa mtu. So, tukutubu milidevi kuluwa vino. Ilate tukenda kukua kukubele la misangu jiru na kulante. Dembele hava wakabano. Iba uwe. Wasako na hava avasi wabu nana dala wana Uganda wabu di jore. Ndo uza hava yevye ukuzi. Kwa ya. Amantu abetu kanya na wujo kila konti nange mabega Kona enyini kukoti nga nzijia wano uluwede Na narumbi wa nga ntuka kukoti So enso enso ngeno tete gere kabani ya wajifuna mua Wajina mua interest ya wala lavali ya mabega So wa inzo kwanga wali ya wala lavali ya wali ya mabega Omu sango gono nenga batu bata de fesi za seji Lenya ni fesi ya hale onla yabala ni sonya na Mbwe bata wantu ya masa Ok, wana lipo tukwe ya nzida na ye Kuzi kwa inaya katika ili ya wala za bigi Akatereka kanga mbavu gamiti, fena tu ina kwe samira mguanga ya fevada, atempo sine chila chensuro kwa gamanti. Esige damu zina faba, abana mate, kwa mune vana yivada yoyona. Kwa mune vitongo lebilo anjiri sivye dembe, vade sawa chino cheche chisera, fena tu situkiremo. Ensonga zevi ogula mtu situwa lenga chikuru. Kumanga ulero, usajiri nya yari yonga abunda, encho mwana wagenda kumanga yari yo. Uruuli ajia kwa mwana wa ex-president yonga yari yo. So echo ogula mchi kwa taku bulimu mtu. Omutu wa mwana kilizo kugendo kugi ajia kwebo, teche kizanti wa musango wa guje wa asigala alikote nga mchi. Mkote somba tenesa bensonga yevi ogula mu. Ne kwa wawa siba bali ya umunda, bata ina nyobu ogerero. Bata ina chife, nina tubele nge sunga yonga mtu kituwa range chinkwe chinkwe. Kwa nidiza, tuwagira kona yana. Ah, yuko na kwenye kanzo la apolaliko, achikita ba ndiyo rotete, e kasa ngati wale kanzo. Awa kwa guabum. Yes, ila tuliwa neiba na mane, ba guanga rotete, wali kumbuzi tu au kana nepo mukaga. So, awa kuda kwa wengine, wengine kwa yuo, achitu ndo chitu lida ni, iranga tu shiari inge bintu bimu, ndelango mbukule mbizi. Ah, tuliwa na kusonga ya ona rebo segiri ni, ni ona rebo alan. Chichi, chivu demu sala yomo la mus. Mauli ya si marunji, ilande wabonto uli de Muganda wangula wa kinike ya amanyi Uruvwa nyuma wa kulila koti mkube masaka Kukusalo musango nga agamanti 
Hapo nalibu sikilinya Muhammadu waka wa mpendo sikuwa situwe nseni ala nisewa nyanu wa machi nje west Kwa teki doa kumira anga bawe lwa Kote pay Kwa nisi wonga zee siga miko Kwa nisi wonga kumira anga waduka Ndeba takuma umu koti kwe ni koti inga Tuba detu subiro kula baku mama wa sikilinya Nga tarabisi ya koko koti ya wale lwa Ukufa Kwa nalibu sikilinya lwe vada mwini wa mkwata Nga ava mchigo mprison Mama sekiri ni mbera ya 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 video wala mbi nyonyo 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 ya kuba pressure ya kuna stroke zam ba iroro da iroro da iroro da sora kubira ngaku la chini anga iroro ya bunge iroro ni mabwa matabani we gamba anti yomo kubali mukubani yoku tabani tu bisi kuti masaka wamu neve ngo ati abanga ya ba mutadi ati kuti damu ni kula chini. Mkwata Ati ni pata mtuwa kumisa angu mlala Tia hita kumkutuku wa Facebook Na asa ulo kubanga ine ubaka wa isa hako Kutari mnunji So kukuru mbeda ya tiri nunji Kiti mabiga kawa wate mtuwa liru ya ulo hospital Nga afuno uguja anjavi Na yenga aliko chikuwa mkwata Kakati balonzi Basubirechi okuvakati Kuba koti ya ganyo bawa beiro Katiba balonzi basubirechi okuvamumu of course, we have to do our work. 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 Uganda, you get it.